Good morning, children. Now I am going to take the English poem. Okay, till now we have completed one poem and two lessons. The first lesson was a tiger in the house, then poem self reliance, and then the lesson a soldier's son. That was the portion for the month of August. Now this is the portion for the September month. That is the poem. If this is the second poem of the English textbook. Okay. So now let us study about the poem. If so, if so, here the author is unknown to us. We doesn't know who has written this poem. This poet is not known. So it is written as Anand. So now let us see the poem. As the poem is very inspiring, so it has been taken. But the poet is not known to us. But the poem is nice to listen and understand what it is telling us. So before that, first let us study about the meanings. So here, bestow on someone means give someone. The meaning of this is give someone. The next, pain you can ease. The meaning of it is. Free someone from pain or worry. So here you have only two meanings. That is bestow on someone, give someone and pain you can use free someone from pain or worry. Okay. Now first I will read the poem then explain the poem. It is very easy. Poem. Another here. 
So if you have a kind word to say, say it now. So if you want to tell anything, kind words and all, you have to say it now. So in every life it is there you see. Say it now, give it now. If So if you have something to give, give it now. So if you have something to give, give it now. Means what? Anything you want to give, you don't keep on keeping it for pending. Give it as soon as possible. So we don't have the surety of our life and all and we don't know next moment what is going to happen. So whatever is there, now itself you have to do it. No, don't wait for the next day or next moment and all to come to give. If you can make someone glad or another less sad. So if you can make someone happy, make it now itself. And if someone is very sad, make their sadness, overcome their sadness by telling some kind words or by giving them something or anything, whatever they are in need. Do it now, do it now, do it now. So the fear it is told that, do it now, do it now, do it now. Again and again it is told that, do it now, do it now, do it now. So whatever is there, do it immediately without any stop or without any thinking. Do it now, do it now, do it now. If there is a good news to give, give it now. So usually whenever we want to give any good news, what we do? First we come and give to our friends, isn't it? Whatever is there at home, anything. Your parents might have bought you one dress only or any new pen or anything, whatever is there. What do you do? You come and first tell to your friends, isn't it? You will be waiting when to go and tell. But some people will be there who doesn't tell anything, they are quiet, they doesn't tell anything. But here it is told that if there is a good news to give, give it now. If there is friendship to show, hope you can raise. So if there is a friendship, you want to show your friendship to your friend, show it now itself and you can raise and show it. Now you see sometimes your friend is not understanding the maths problem at all. So what you do, you can help her, isn't it? Friends only help each other more than the parents or more than the brothers and sisters who are close to your friends, isn't it? So if there is a friendship to show, hope you can raise, you can help in any way, not only in these things, many other things are there. Maybe one pen only, she might have not bought your friend, you can give it. So here you can show the friendship. Then or someone you can praise and you must praise also someone. When someone does anything good, we immediately tell, no? We praise them, we admire them, we tell, yeah, nice. She, her handwriting is nice or she has, a, she has worn the beautiful dress, she has a nice pen. Then anything, whatever is there, then and then you have to praise it. Do it now, do it now, do it now. So here it is told that do it now itself. The poet is telling, do it now itself. If you have trust to bestow, give it now. Means what? Bestow on someone means the meaning of that we have right now. Give someone. So if you want to give something to someone, give it now itself. Don't wait for the this thing, situation or the condition where you can give it. Give it now itself. Then, Do it now, do it now, do it now. If you have trust to bestow, give it now. If there is courage to give, pain you can ease. So if someone, if you have the courage and someone is in pain, so you can give the courage to that person. In what way? Sometimes we see in the class only we can take the best example. What happens? One person gets the good marks and another will not get the good marks. Isn't it? So there will be competition always between the friends. You got more, I got more. So what happens? Due to some reason she might have not got good marks. But what you can do? You can re remove her pain. You can tell her next time you will get more than me. Not that you must have, every time I will get more. No, you have, when you have a friendship, you can pain their whatever difficulties they have. You can give them the courage to do next time better or any subject they have got less marks or they might have failed, anything like that. So you have to give the courage and you can, in this way you can release their pain, you can make their pain very easy. 
or any problems at home it might be there you share with your friends isn't it when you tell to each other what happens you will have the courage you will have you will ease their pain you will listen to them and you can tell your ideas what to do in that situation or someone who can please do it now do it now do it now so if you want to please someone also you have to do it now only isn't it not wait for the situation or the condition so here the poet is telling that everything whatever is there anything you want to do do it immediately don't wait for the next moment maybe kind words maybe you have to show the friendship maybe you have to give someone pain or you have to give someone something you have to praise someone something all these things so here the poet is telling do it now itself so all these things should be done immediately without any delay don't delay in doing the things refrain means to repeat so here in this poem what is repeated again and again do it now do it now do it now isn't it this is a phrase it is a frame where it is repeated again and again refrain means to repeat so now now before it is too late so before it is late so what you have to do now is the time for the good day so now without delaying anything or thinking anything now this is a good time you have to do the good things good deeds is good things anything it might be good do not wait until tomorrow so don't wait for tomorrow day after tomorrow like that for it may be just a little too late so tomorrow may not come also or it may be too late also because nowadays we don't have the this thing any surety of our life to do anything any situation may come anything may come so we may not be able to do so the earth the poet is telling do not wait until tomorrow for it may be just a little too late so it may be too late just you are telling tomorrow it may be little for you but who knows it may be too late also so here in this poem what you have learned children let me see whatever is there so here in this poem tells us that whatever is there do it immediately don't wait till it becomes too late life is very short so you should have a heart of giving anything to anyone so we should have a kind heart charitable heart and we should not hesitate to give anything so here this is about the poem so this poem is there for the memorization children hope you have understood the poem the whole poem tells us that don't waste your time okay the meaning of this is whatever is there you do it immediately without delaying it okay so here there are few questions what we'll discuss through that you will come to know still in the better way the poem okay now you see here there are the questions the poet is addressing a kind man is it true or false it is true so if it is told that if you are kind only we can show the kindness to others isn't it otherwise how the poet is not talking about the good deeds that we can do the whole poem is telling about us uh, it is telling us to us about the good deeds only what we can do it so we have to do it now only so here this also the poet is not talking this is not true how can you make someone glad so how can you make someone happy i said you how can you make someone happy supposing if you if your friend is failed in one of the subject or in the test or exam what you can do you can console her you can tell her try work hard then in the next time you may get the you may pass in all the subjects or you may get the good marks or someone less sad can you give example give an example lee yeah whenever someone how can you make happy by consoling her telling her tell her to work hard everything what was why she got the less marks everything if you study for what was the reason and all and that way then you can tell her in this way or supposing if uh, on the festivals and all also all will be wearing new clothes maybe your friend will be due to some reason she may not be able to wear or her parents are not able to give her so what you can do at least whatever is there with you if you have extra you can give her and make her happy that is also one way or if she gets the less marks 
she can console her and tell and help her in her studies and make her happy and get her good marks in the next test so let us see there are many examples not only about the studies or about the test there may be many things in our life what we can make others happy maybe kind words only isn't it or maybe a praise only one praise isn't it some those who are not good at studies they are good at singing they are good at dancing they are good at some drawing like that so immediately when you praise them yeah how nice you draw how, how neatly you write then how neatly you draw like that if we tell them if you praise them no they will be very happy so these all things you can experience only with your friends in the class isn't it so if you were in the class you could have told if i would have asked you how can you make happy ones one by one one by one in what way you have made your friends happy you could have told me isn't it so this in this way we can give the different examples to make others happy the poet is saying you should praise people in order to gain favor so do you praise people in order to get the favor no we don't get we just pray selflessly we like so immediately we tell no your handwriting is nice your dress is nice your bag is nice your pen is nice or anything whatever is it we immediately praise them why do we praise them to gain their favor or they must tell not like that we do it selflessly if it is really nice we tell them it is nice otherwise no isn't it then the poet is saying you should praise people yeah this is not true again the poet is saying you have to be strong yourself to do good to others you are starting only this told in the poem isn't it if you are kind if you are charitable if you are this uh, good then only you can think good of others so the poet is saying you have to be strong yourself to do good to others this is also again true the poet is assuming you may not have a for forceful personality the poet is advising you to develop a forceful personality so the poet is not forcing you to do anything forcefully he is telling that whatever is there you do it immediately and now itself don't delay for doing the things do it immediately the now here you see look at the good qualities given below kindness charity then broad mind mindedness trustworthiness courage helpfulness friendship and mercy do you know someone who has any of these qualities give an example remember makbul but he had three of these qualities so in the previous lesson in the soldier son you have read about makbul but so among these whatever is given no so you can give the example of three qualities what he had so what qualities he had children can you tell me yeah first is he was kind second one is he was helpful and the third one is he was courageous so we can find in the same person makbul but all these three things isn't it how he was kind towards the pilot then next he helped the pilot to give the letter to the officer he handed over the letter everything courage he showed the courage to escape from those people isn't it so in this way this all the qualities we can find in makbul but so here now the next one is the poet is telling us what is correct what is correct to behave here yeah here it is told correct yeah if whatever things are there you have to do immediately here the poet is telling us the general idea so now i said you the general idea of the poem is that procrastination is good so what is first what is the meaning of procrastination procrastination means delaying the things means now supposing if your parents tell you to sit and do your homework what you tell i'll go and play and come then i will do my homework so again after coming from the uh, this and playing if your parents tell you come sit and do your homework or studies what you tell you tell i'll be then i'll do my homework then again afterwards you tell i'll see watch my favorite serial for few uh, for few minutes then i'll do so in this way you go on postponing your things that is called as a procrastination means not doing the things on time delaying the things making one or the other reason for delaying the things that is called as procrastination 
So here the general idea of the poem is that procrastination is good. So this is not true. Procrastination is not good. So procrastination is a thief of time. So what is procrastination? Actually it is a thief of the time. Means it is going on killing the time. It is not helping the person to do the things at all. So you are going on delaying today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow. Now you see we had asked you all the notes to submit the notes on 30th, isn't it? Very few children, I think hardly 25 children have submitted their notes on 25th. This is not there. We have the strength 76. So everyone is seeing the lessons. Every day we are, according to the timetable, we are sending you all the notes, we are sending you the lessons. So what is your duty? Every day whatever is given, complete that day itself and keep it. So you all are not doing that and many have given the incomplete notes also. We have already given you the test portion, three lessons for the test. But very few children have completed their notes up to date and they have given. Incomplete notes also are given to us. So this is not what doing the right things on right time, isn't it? That means you are not doing the things. You are not listening to the classes. You are not completing your notes on the time. You are going on telling your parents that you are completing. But when we are checking the notes here, we don't have the proper notes. Some have not written neatly also. There is no, after the question line is not left, then the next question also there is no line left written, not neat, uh, handwriting is not neat. Oh, very, very, you all have written very shabby. So this is not the way. When you were in the school, how you all were writing the notes? We used to write on the board, we used to go check you all and we used to write very neatly the notes, isn't it? But very few children have written the notes neatly and completed their notes and given the notes on time. Isn't it? That means only those children are following. They are doing everything on time. Others are not doing the things on time. So this procrastination is a thief of time. Discuss the meaning of this proverb with your teacher. So the meaning of this is procrastination is thief of time means it will kill the time. So what you do now you see how you all have given your notes incomplete. That means what you did at home when your parents told you to sit and study complete the notes you have not done. Isn't it? And every day's notes what we were sending you have not completed according to that. Those are not completed and given. So don't do that. So whatever is given every day you have to do your work and keep so that it will be easy for you, isn't it, to read, to learn or whatever is there, you will be able to do your things on time, isn't it? So procrastination is the thief of time here. So procrastination means delaying, going on delaying the things, not only in studies, in all the things. Now supposing now your school will start. So morning, you have to get up early, you have to get ready, you have to come to school, everything. So if you get up late, everything becomes late to you. Isn't it children? So don't do that. All must do your things on time. What time you have to get up? Same time. What time you have to get ready? Get ready. Keep your books up to date. And some have not covered even the books and given. So this is not there. So you all have to cover your books, label it, write your name, roll number, everything and give the books. So this shows what? That means whatever we are telling you are not doing it on Then this was about the discussing about all the 
question answers. Most of the questions in this lesson were true, not true and all. And only two meanings you have. That is bestow on someone and pain you can ease. So these two words and meanings you can write. And remaining question and answers will be sent to you in the form of PDF. And from Monday onwards, hope your schools will start. So you will be coming to the school. So in the school only we will be teaching the lessons. So there is no power. I will just read the poem once again. This poem is there for the memorization. So you can see the smart board or, and learn the poem also. Okay children, now you see. What is there still to discuss in this poem? This question was there. But yeah. Write a short paragraph on the topic procrastination is the thief of time. So here, yeah, now I have explained you what is procrastination. So you have to write how it kills the time. I have given you two examples, isn't it? One is your notes I have told you, how you all wrote. And the next one is homework, regarding the homework. When you don't do on time and when the time is less, you try to do it in a hurry. What you do? Here and there mistakes will be there. You don't understand and then you write the answers. Okay. And... This also we have discussed, so you can write, we will send the notes to you. Then here, I will read out the poem once again, so you can listen. If you have a kind word to say, say it now. If you have something to give, give it now. If you can make someone glad or another less sad, do it now, do it now, do it now. If there is good news to give, give it now. If there is friendship to show, hope you can raise. Or someone you can praise. Do it now, do it now, do it now. If you have just to bestow, give it now. If there is a courage to give, pain you can ease or someone you can please. Do it now, do it now, do it now. Now before it is too late, now the time for the good deed. Do not wait until tomorrow for it may be just a little too late. So usually after writing the poem, we write the name of the poet, isn't it? Here I said you, we doesn't know who has written this poem. So the meaning of refrain here is to repeat. So what is refrain, a refrain here? Refrain means it is a verse or line or a set or a group of lines that appears at the end of the stanza. Here it is after the poem, isn't it? End of the stanza. Appears where a poem is divided into different sections. Okay, then now here we have to discuss about the rhyming words in the poem. Usually grammar we discuss, isn't it? After each poem we discuss the rhyming words. So what are rhyming words? Now here can you tell me? So five words you have to find the rhyming words. Here you can see raise, praise. Isn't it? Uh, ease, please. So like this I have shown you two words, three more words you can find the rhyming words in this poem and write it in your rough note. Okay, you have the poem or I will send the PDF of the poem so that you can learn the poem and memorize the poem and keep it ready. Okay, and the PDF also will be sent to you children. So here we have completed the second poem from the English that is if. Okay, thank you.